Good morning, welcome or welcome back. Anybody here? Anybody here? Welcome back. Welcome. I thought we would, I mean, you could see the title. I got the COVID. So we're just going to do day one of COVID. And this is how I feel. Oh my gosh, I do look scary actually. It's unfortunate. Um, so how you can probably hear it in my voice. Do you hear this? Yes, you can hear it in my voice. I'm stuffed up. I have a little bit of a headache and I have a cough that's very obnoxious actually. It's like from deep within. But I haven't had a fever yet. I haven't even checked. So I don't have a fever. And what are the other symptoms that people are getting? Oh, I can still taste. Yeah, baby. So Tucker picked up hibachi on the way home. And I'm not going to lie, I don't feel like eating anymore. So we're done with that. But I just wanted to tell you I can taste and smell. Today we will go through our day like any normal day. And if I have any updates for you, <clears throat> I will let you know how the COVID is affecting me. But I feel like this round, oh, this round is um, more contagious because I've had children at school dropping like flies. So it's more contagious, but I feel like it's less intense. So like you like feel like you have a headache. It feels more like a cold for like one or two days. And then from what I've heard, you're okay. My husband had it first. Thanks at Tucker for giving me this beautiful disease. And and um, he really just had a headache and felt disgusting for like two days I mean he's getting better he still feels a little but he's getting better slowly so I'm gonna open this with you because that's what people do on COVID mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fortune cookie yeah. oh no, no no you're supposed to oh did you give this one to me you're supposed to give a fortune cookie to another person like you don't choose your own fortune cookie you need it to be given to you Absolutely not, you just coughed. I'm just kidding, I literally have COVID. <laughs> what am I scared of getting? I almost cracked, that was easy. If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Listen, I like that. What do I have to cover in order for it to... One of my biggest values is honesty. I, oh, even if someone's just saying something that sounds a little bit like it's better than it actually is or like worse than they actually are i'm like why are you lying like no and like sometimes with my students even i can do it in a gentle way though but if they like lie about something i'm like no like i i truly prefer you being honest with me and saying i did i did grab my phone but i will put it away now that if you lie to me if you lie to me baby you getting a write-up that's in the law, okay? But if you just tell me, yes, I did and I shouldn't have and I won't do it again, done. Put it away. I don't want to see it again. If I do, then you will be written up. Thanks for your interruption. Okay, this is day one. Welcome to day one of COVID. I hope you have a great day. I hope you don't have COVID. I hope you never have COVID. <sighs> <laughs> I'm making um, a little espresso, not an espresso, a little espresso shot so that I can make an iced coffee today because that's what I was feeling this morning. But, that's too loud. Hey, yeah, baby. What I actually came on here to say was day two of the virus that shall not be mentioned um you all know what it is all that i have today is a cough i feel fine right now i mean obviously you can tell that i'm stuffed up but i feel fine as of now but i know that if i speak too soon i won't feel fine <sighs> i think today what i'm gonna do is clean because well, let me just show you our counter. <laughs> the, what? These are all appliances. First of all, that's not even minimalistic. Second of all, there's an appliance over here on our stove right now. I know that's not really safe. 
and then like dishes and I'm serious it's not always like this so yeah let's just go and fix that by cleaning but only after my coffee bedroom so that I don't disturb sleeping beauty but COVID day three I woke up with a lot of chest pain or let's not call it pain because that's dramatic and I don't think I'm having a heart attack but like chest discomfort oh I feel like they say if that happens like go to the hospital but I feel like it's like I'm sharing it like oh I have some like chest discomfort but like I don't think it's life threatening chest discomfort like that there's a difference between the two but yeah that's the symptom today <clears throat> I thought I was feeling better yesterday and I maybe I wasn't like taking as good of care of myself and maybe that's why I'm not feeling great today but like I thought I would be even better today and I feel like I like took a step back instead it's just like it's the breathing and I don't know if maybe it's like a little bit of you know some anxious thoughts in there because oh, what's going on am i sick what's happening so it could just be like a little bit of anxiety maybe <sighs> i'd say the cough has been suppressed but i like feel weird ah so that's covid day three and this is from diagnosis okay i think that i had it before i was diagnosed so yeah really i don't think i wouldn't be like oh on day one that's what i'm gonna feel because i feel like my day one was like three days before i was actually diagnosed because yeah there's a whole story actually you guys want to know the story let me tell you the story okay so okay so the story is as follows i tested twice maybe three times no i think twice i don't know but i came back negative it was technically three times so first time I came back negative and I was like excuse me what like my husband has COVID I feel horrible like I thought I had COVID for sure and I came back negative so I was like that's weird so I did it again uh, like three days later I think it was three days later I tested again they did um, both a rapid test and a PCR my rapid test which I had done the first time came back negative again and I was like okay my PCR came back positive and I did them at the same time so I'm just going with it like I have COVID I've stayed out of school obviously out of work and we've just been like quarantining just like chilling chillaxing I know you guys probably think I only wear this shirt and you're right <laughs> I have like five of these shirts. I know that's not minimalistic. They're comfort colors and they're extra large in size and I just love wearing them around the house. Please don't. Please stop judging me. I see you. Please. Please stop. I Maybe I'll keep you updated. Maybe I won't. I'm pretty sure I'm getting like better and like this is gonna be like the last day that I record because I feel like I'm good now. Thanks for being here. I don't even know if this video is gonna make it to the internet because it doesn't seem that entertaining yeah I don't know if that part should make it to the internet COVID day four I don't have much to say the most like the thing that I have felt the most is chest pain and I don't know if that's concerning or not I'm okay as of now just tired of not feeling myself I look exhausted all the time you can just tell I'm sick you know what I mean you can tell and I am so excited for Sunday and I'm praying that I feel amazing on Sunday because I am back to school on Monday those are the new guidelines that our school has it's a five-day rest I just have to like wear masks and um, I'm good to go what I need is prayer energy success 
I look so tired. I'm a little scared looking at myself right now. I don't look good. We're not looking good. We're not looking good. Hello. Day, I don't know what day it is, but I have been back in school for the past week and I've been feeling much better, but also I feel like I still have some of the effects maybe, like I'm still very exhausted. I still have some coughing and just some like shirt, shirt, what? Some like chest like discomfort. And so I think that's just gonna maybe take a little bit until I feel 100% better. I've been losing a lot of hair. That's been insane, actually. I've been losing a lot of hair. And then I've had some lymph node pain, but I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But basically, I just wanted to say I'm doing better. I'm alive. I'm feeling much better. And I hope you never get it. And I hope you remember, you matter. Bye. Through the fields of our